I'm Buddy Jeff, your executive gardener. Hope everybody is doing great, staying safe during this crisis of COVID-19. Hey, I'm in my, my side garden here, and um, one of the things I talked about is when my family moves from Houston to Pittsburgh here uh, shortly, we're going to start evolving the channel and not only showing you how to grow food, but not only how to grow it, but how to cook the food, how to cook it organic food nutritionally. And my wife is a nutritionist and a certified diabetes educator. So she counsels people all the time. So I thought it would be a perfect way to evolve the channel to show you how we, how we both garden, because we both enjoy gardening, and then what we do, the next steps to prepare it so you can make your eggplant or uh, peppers or tomatoes or whatever you want, or kale even, taste really good. So we're gonna start evolving to this, and this is a, kind of a first, first impromptu video. Uh, I, you know, I don't have my big camera, I just have my uh, cell phone. But we're gonna show you uh, the eggplant that I have, and it kind of overwintered this past year on its own. And my wife will come in at the end there, I did a pretty horrible job, you'll see in a second, and talk about um, what you do, how you prepare the eggplant so it tastes really good. My kids generally don't like vegetables, but uh, I can tell you uh, they're gonna love this eggplant. Let me show you the eggplant that I grew here, and then we'll show you the final product. So if we take a look here, here's the gigantic eggplant. It's actually grown to about nine feet from last year, and it's coming through the cage. Uh, so you'll see there's one back there that's still growing. I took four off yesterday, and there's still a bunch of flowers, as you can see. Hopefully we'll get some continued more eggplant. But here are the two that I picked, and uh, I can't remember what these are called, Black Beauty or something, but they're not meant to be gigantic, um, but they are uh, incredibly tasty and are very good to co uh, cook things with. So let me um, <clears throat> show you uh, what we do with these two eggplants and what the final product looks like. But this is, this is the key, folks, is that not only do you grow your own food organically, you know where it comes from, but more importantly, actually there's another one there I didn't even see. More importantly, um, you can prepare it in a way that takes care of your family with nourishment. So let me show you what the final product looks like. And it's going, it is a uh, eggplant caprese salad, so to speak. All right, the eggplant that we showed you is right here. It's called eggplant caprese. Caprese. You'll see the eggplant. I'll give you a close up. So the eggplant is from the garden. The basil is from the garden. The tomato is not from the garden. None of the tomatoes, because our tomatoes aren't ripe yet. And the buffalo mozzarella is not from the garden, obviously. Anyway, this looks really good. It looks really healthy. And then we put some, uh, is it balls? It's balsamic reduction glaze olive oil that's um, marinated with some basil um, that we get from a, a California company called Enzo. E-N-Z-O, check out their olive oil and their balsamics, they're amazing. And um, garlic and salt and pepper, that's it. See, I tried to tell her to explain the whole thing, but she didn't. But as we move to Pennsylvania, we will shift the channel from what we grow, her and I, to what we cook and prepare, which is just her. So obviously this will go with some ravioli. But anyway, it's kind of nice to see from the vine, from the plant to what it looks like afterwards. So we will enjoy this for dinner tonight. Thanks for everybody for watching the Executive Gardener channel. Until next time, bye.